All right, guys, in this video, what I'm going to be doing is doing an un unboxing on the Depstec uh, WF028SF uh, endoscope. This is a wireless model. This one can connect either to your tablet or your phone. Um, the reason I purchased this one is because my last endoscope that I just purchased about eight months ago actually uh, broke on me. Um, I think I was a little too rough with it personally, but I had to go out, had to buy a new one. So I seen this one, seen a few little reviews onto it, and I thought, why not? Let's uh, take it for a spin. All right, so I'm going to do a small unboxing, show you guys what this guy comes with, and then we're going to test it on the vehicle. This should be about maybe a 5 to 10 minute video total, and then I'll give you guys the prices of this uh, little tool. So, um, as I said, this one is Wi-Fi, so it will either be used onto your phone or onto your tablet. All right, we're going to take it, we're going to unbox it. The one thing I don't like is that because of the price, I do believe that they should at least send a type of carrying case with these, especially since they are pretty fragile. But also for the price, you can't really complain too much, right? So here we have the unit itself. Okay, it's very tiny. Uh, this one comes with a 16.5 uh, foot cable. So pretty deep. Yeah, pretty long. I got this length more for if we have to go in dash and go check out an evaporator uh, core or something like that. At least we can get in and we can really see if there might be a leak on the evaporator core with this one. After that, what we're going to have is some little attachments. This one does not come with a side view mirror. Why? Because it is a dual uh, camera. So I have one camera that's going to be on the top and I also have one that's going to be onto the side. Both have uh, LEDs onto them. If I'm not mistaken, we're going to verify this when I test it. The top one is adjustable and the side one is not. Then all we have is a charge cable. Uh, like I said, this is Wi-Fi. So everything that is going to be saved is going to be saved directly to your phone. There's no need to remove a card in order to uh, transfer your photos or videos because this one will actually record a video for you also. All right. The unit itself, little power switch on the side here. This is your adjuster right here for your lights. And at the back over here, we have our charge port, which is the micro USB. And then we just have a little reset that's going to bring us right back to factory uh, defaults. All right. So from there, uh, the next step that you want to end up doing is. OK, so uh, my phone is turned to the side right now. Hopefully it doesn't cause too much uh, confusion to everybody. Um, so the next step that we have to do after we get our unit is that we actually have to go to the Play Store uh, or if you have iOS, you can use iOS. All right, so we're just gonna click on Play Store. From there, all we're gonna type in is Depths Tech View. This is the application that you're gonna have to download in order to be able to use this endo endoscope on either your tablet or your phone. All right, so from there, what I'm gonna do right now is we are gonna back out. I'm gonna scroll over to where the Depths Tech View uh, app is. And all we're gonna do is I'm going to turn the unit on by the little power switch. And I'm going to press start. Right now it says your device is disconnected. We're going to click on yes to be able to connect to the device. Uh, you might actually have to go into your set Wi-Fi settings in order to connect. So we're going to scroll down. I'm going to click on to my Wi-Fi settings. It's going to be searching for Wi-Fi. If we see here, we have the Depstech WF028 dual uh, camera. We're going to click on that. All right. Uh, the password for this is 12345678. All right. So that is the password that we're going to be using. Right now, it's just obtaining the IP address for uh, the system. Connected to device. Can't provide internet. We don't really care. We don't want it for the internet. All right. So from there, we can see that now we have our camera the quality of the camera is supposed to be 1080p i don't believe it is uh but if we click on settings yeah we're going to keep it at 1920 by 1080 um but i don't believe it, it this is 1080p i'm going to be honest with you if it is it's a very very poor quality 1080p but uh the quality isn't horrible it's going to serve its purpose for when we actually get into the engine and see what is going on. Now, if we take and we press the little button that's in the center of your screen, it's going to end up switching the camera view for you. And now I am using the side camera. All right. Now, if we take and we press that little button again, 
it's going to go into a dual uh, screen mode which i find very very helpful or it's going to be very helpful when you, especially when you're looking in cylinder or you're, if you're looking on uh inside of an air duct or something like that if we press it again we're going to come up to the front camera so from there what we can also do is if we come over to the right hand side we're going to have a camera and we are also going to have a uh, video that we can take. So one we can take the uh, pictures and the other one we can take uh, videos. And then if we press on the file, it's going to open up our save files and our save pictures. All right. Uh, the settings is going to be used to change your resolution. And then from there, that is pretty much all that this uh, camera can do. If we press uh, the little uh, icon up in the top right, that's going to allow us to turn this uh, video 90 degrees and if we press it four times where it's just gonna bring us back to our original all right so as I said up close camera has very good resolution far away resolution starts to, uh, to disappear all right so what we're gonna do at this point I'm gonna bring you guys over to a car we're gonna remove a, a coil we're gonna remove one spark plug and we're gonna go in cylinder to see the how clear everything is with this camera so I'll be right back <laughs> All right, so let's get into this. Uh, what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna switch over to the uh, depth. Um, and from there, where'd it go? There it is. All right, uh, from there we're gonna take and we're gonna look at the quality of, of how it looks like in cylinder with this. So the quality is actually pretty nice. There we go. All right, that's good. All right, so quality inside the cylinder is actually very nice, guys. I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't expecting it to be so nice, but I'm guessing because it is such a small area, uh, it's it's actually pretty nice. So if we press the center button in the middle of the screen, what we're gonna get from there is the side view. Quality, again, very, very nice. Um, this is an old Toyota engine, and there's probably like 300,000 onto it, so. I'm okay with that so far. Uh, we can see some carbon buildup. Now, the interesting one that I wanted to see was the dual. And now we can see the top and side views of this. So if we come up, there's our valves. Our valves are closed. The quality is very nice, guys. I'm not gonna lie. All right. We have some carbon that's falling off onto this one. We can see the little piece of carbon that's stuck to the valve on that one. If we take and we rotate. We see some scoring onto the cylinder walls. Yeah. We can see that the, the cylinder wall is starting to score. So this would be an indication on if, let's just say the client uh, is concerned about like oil consumption. While well, scoring on a cylinder wall, uh, you can pretty much classify that as oil consumption. Or a part of your oil consumption, I should say. So then we can see the top of the valve. Nice and clear too, look at that. Beautiful. So I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This tool, probably worth its weight in gold uh, for diagnostic purposes. But that's it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.